Good day. Today we'll talk about ototoxicity monitoring in cancer patients using mobile health technology. Cancer, a formidable adversary in the domain of human health. In 2020 alone, it claimed the lives of 10 million people with over 19.3 million new cases. Yet, amidst this ominous statistic, a beacon of hope emerges. Thanks to advancements in medical science, the past two decades have witnessed a remarkable 26% decrease in cancer-related fatalities. However, the battle doesn't end with survival. For those transitioning to a life with and beyond cancer, another challenge looms large, assessing the impact on their health-related quality of life. Autotoxicity is a silent menace often overlooked in the cancer treatment landscape. Autotoxic medications commonly used in chemotherapy can wreak havoc on the delicate mechanisms of the inner ear, leading to hearing deficits or tinnitus. Platinum-based compounds like cisplatin, carboplatin and oxaliplatin are vital in cancer treatment and are the main culprits. As hearing changes manifest, especially in the highest frequencies, Cancer survivors find themselves grappling with everyday tasks, like understanding speech in noisy environments. The only way to detect autotoxicity is through direct assessment of auditory function. But traditional monitoring protocols come with their own sets of challenges. From the logistical hurdles of clinic visits to the complexities of detailed test protocols, the process often falls short in providing comprehensive care. Here's where mobile technology steps in, revolutionizing the landscape of autotoxicity monitoring, a low-cost alternative that doesn't tear the patients to audiology clinics, a solution designed for ease of use, even by minimally trained individuals, widening the gateway to hearing care. Introducing mHealth audiometry, a game-changer in autotoxicity monitoring for cancer patients, Following ethical approval in this longitudinal study, 32 participants undergoing platinum-based chemotherapy participated. Their ages ranged from 10 to 70 years, reflecting the diverse face of cancer. This study investigated platinum-based chemotherapy autotoxicity surveillance using mHealth audiometry. Testing wasn't confined to traditional audiology clinics but ventured into the heart of oncology units and hospital wards. Baseline and exit audiograms, including extended high-frequency assessments, were conducted on-site using a validated mHealth audiometer. Armed with smartphones and calibrated headphones, we embarked on a mission to redefine autotoxicity monitoring. Automated testing protocols spanning the entire auditory spectrum and extended high frequencies ensured comprehensive data collection, which all uploaded seamlessly to a secure cloud-based server. We used the World Health Organization grades of hearing impairment. Significant autotoxicity threshold shifts were present if 20 decibel decrease or greater at one frequency, 10 dB decrease or greater at two adjacent frequencies, and loss of response at three consecutive frequencies where there was previously a recorded response. Descriptive and inferential statistics were applied. In this study, there were equal amounts of males and females. Participants' average age was 47 years, but ranged from 11 to 74 years. Several cancers were treated, with cervical, lung and lymphoma being the most common. The mean number of days between baseline and exit testing was 217 days. Treatments included cisplatin, carboplatin and oxaliplatin. Combinations of these were also included. There was a significant threshold shift from baseline to exit testing in 50% of participants in this study. The device monitors reliability of testing. Reliability increased from baseline to exit testing on average by 6.4%. Frequencies affected by environmental noise were in the low frequencies. Luckily, the key in autotoxicity surveillance is monitoring the high and extended high frequencies. Therefore, this was not of great concern. 
This graph shows that there was a definite and significant increase in thresholds from baseline to exit testing, especially in the higher frequencies from 4,000 to 16,000 hertz. Left ears were significantly more reflected than right ears. As is known in the literature, cisplatin was the biggest culprit, followed by high doses of carboplatin, which caused the most ototoxicity. In conclusion, by tracking changes in hearing ability over time, the study illuminated a path forward. We recommended a shortened monitoring protocol focusing on high frequencies, alleviating the burden on patients' already strained schedules. However, like any journey, this one had its share of challenges. The study's limitations included a small sample size and absence of control conditions, which remind us of the road ahead. Yet, the promise of mobile health audiometry shines bright, offering a beacon of hope to cancer patients worldwide. As we stand on the cusp of a new era in healthcare, let us embrace the power of innovation in the fight against cancer. For in the realm of possibility, lies the key to a future where every voice can be heard. I would like to acknowledge my patients and the oncologists and all the nurses working in the oncology units, as well as my co-authors in the study. You will see the reference on the slide. And then lastly, I want to acknowledge Mr. Busani who assisted me with a video pitch recording for this conference. Thank you. Thank you for your time and I will take any questions now.